All right, guys, I was trying to find a good video for my Facebook group on how to download Tron, um, Tron Link Wallet for a Chrome browser. Um, but I couldn't find any good ones, so I'm going to try to do one real quick. Easiest way I find find it to do is make sure you come to tronlink.org. Just type that in in your browser. Right here, you can download it for Android, APK, or iOS, Chrome extension. Uh, we're going to do, we're running Chrome, so we're going to do Chrome extension. So if we click on Chrome Web Store, it'll take us to the Chrome Web Store. And we want to add an extension that's going to come up here next to our MetaMask. This is my test account right here. But hopefully we can get an extension up here right next to MetaMask. So we use MetaMask for our Ethereum uh, uh, dApps and stuff. And we're using Tron Link for our Tron stuff. So if we come right here, you can see you have 169 reviews and 100,000 users. So it should look like this. Click on Add to Chrome. And it's just going to give you a message right here. It can read all your data on your websites and stuff. The wallet has to work with the websites that you're trying to work with. So we'll hit add extension. And it's checking. as you can see tron link has been added to chrome use this extension by clicking on this icon manage your extensions by clicking extensions in the tool menu to get your extensions on all your computers turn on sync we're not going to worry about that right now we're going to x this off now if it hides away like this what you can do you can click here if yours does this and you can pin it so it doesn't go away so now that we have it pinned, we can go in here and actually create a wallet. It should take us through the steps to create the wallet. So we're going to click on it. And it's asking us to put in a password. So whatever password you use, make sure you can remember it because you will be using this as you go in and out of the wallet. So try to make it something that you can, you know, remember and write it down. We're going to do this as just uh has to contain at least eight characters contain either a symbol or a number so we're going to do one oh that's a good i don't forgot already <laughs> okay it's going to ask you to verify it just hit got it right here if you get this. This is remember the password. You can't retrieve it if you forget it. So now, if someone has already created a wallet um, for you, if you have a family, a friend that made you a wallet and they told you when you get home, just go download the extension, put it on your extensions bar, and you already have a wallet, you would actually click restore because you already have a wallet and it's going to ask you for a private key or either your seed phrases. I kind of forgot. I've had my wallet so long. I've kind of forgot what they ask you for. But if someone tells you you already have a wallet, you're going to hit restore. If you don't have a wallet at all, this is the first time you're using the Tron link uh, wallet or browser extension. You're going to go to create. We're going to go to create and it says recommended new users to use. Okay. Restore recommended for users with existing Tron accounts. Now, if you have an electronic device, a, a Nano, a Trezor, or whatever, you will come here. Uh, if you're just learning how to do a wallet nine times out of ten, you probably aren't that advanced yet. So we're going to come to create. This is where you give your account a name. You can say, you can name it whatever you want. Uh, dad, daddy, or your name, your child's name you can create multiple accounts within one wallet so you can have one main person that knows about the you know knows about crypto real well they can be the main account holder such as like your mom or father then you can put the kids they can have their own wallet too so this is where you come in just create the name of the wallet this 
can be your name and you have the opportunity to later on to add other names and other accounts. So we're going to hit continue. Now this is key. This is the most important thing in crypto. Never ever lose these words. You will need these words whether you're using this wallet or you find another wallet that can take uh Tron um TRX or whatever. You can use these words to put in other wallets and it will populate your account information from this current wallet to whatever wallet you use in the future whether it's on your computer another laptop or another cell phone you will need these words if you ever lose these words you will never gain access back into this wallet okay never and never share these words with anyone these are your words these are these are your passwords. He who has these words, they have access to your funds. They can recreate your wallet somewhere else, just like we did. We can download Tron Link. All they need to do is have these words. So if anyone asks you for these words and you don't know them like that, that's not a good sign. But let's hit continue. Uh, I'm going to take a picture of these words, which is not recommended because um, you don't know how secure your phone is. You should be writing these words down and storing them in a safe place. We're going to, but just for this video purpose, because I know they're probably going to ask me to confirm these words. I just took a quick picture of them. So we're going to hit continue. You must now confirm your monomic phrase. Select the words below uh, in the correct order to finalize your account creation. So I have the words here. And all I'm doing is I'm putting them in order. You would be looking at your paper that you've written this down. And this is just, they're, they're, they're making sure you have the words written down correctly in case you ever have to recover your wallet in the, in the future. Whether your phone gets a virus and bricks, whether you damage your phone, you can no longer get into it or you damage your laptop. You can always re-download this wallet from anywhere in the world, from anyone else's phone, anyone else's laptop. And long as you have these words, whatever balance you've had, whether it's five dollars, ten dollars, a thousand, ten thousand, it will all populate into your new wallet. So this is it. You see, we have the, you know, I put daddy up there. This is your address. If anyone asks you for your address, this is your address. This is your unique address and uh you can do a quick copy right here you can just copy right here right here is how much balance you have obviously you don't have a balance right now if you want to receive tron from someone else you would come in here and um if you want to send uh tron i mean excuse me trx trx you would come here so if i was looking to receive some trx and, and a person was near me near my laptop they can actually take a picture of this pattern right here. And this pattern is the same thing as your address. You can copy it, email it to someone, right click and paste it to someone, and they can have your wallet address to for you to receive funds. It's nothing wrong with you giving uh, someone your wallet address. Uh, this is just like an account number if you want to get paid. This is totally fine to let people have your wallet address. Because this is, like I said, this is how you get paid. Some people even take pictures of this and keep it. You'll see people on, online, they might have this, this shape here on their videos for you to donate to them. Because it's the same thing as the address here. Now, if you wanted to send someone some funds, uh, some TRX, you would come here. It's just asking you which account you want to send it from. You have a drop down menu here because you can have multiple accounts. You might be over your husband's account. In your children's account but you want to send tron not from your account from your husband's account you you would put it here all the accounts on this one wallet would show up on this drop down box but since we only have one pat um, uh, excuse me um address it's only one in here this is the receiving account uh family and friends that you know that have a a, a, a tron link wallet as you do transactions with them uh, you can copy and paste and save them to your address book here. And anytime you put a new address in here, it will ask you if you want to save that address. 
here if i had a balance on it it would show right here and and, and yes there are different currencies that this wallet will hold but trx is the main one that we're worried about right now any balance you have would have here you can click max and you will be able to do the maximum amount uh and that's pretty much that so we're just going to cover the basics of it guys this is your wallet here we're not going to go to too much in depth if you want to change the name of your wallet you can come right here and to uh change account name you need to also research freezing and unfreezing the video is kind of long I'm not going to go over freezing and unfreezing Tron, but when you first set up your wallet, you probably want to allocate the first 200 Tron that you get to energy. Uh, you don't really have to worry about bandwidth. And the reason why we freeze energy, because for every transaction you do, there is a fee if you don't have anything frozen for energy. So not going to cover that in this video, but you need to research what freezing Tron for energy and bandwidth is. Not necessary to really worry about bandwidth, but energy goes pretty fast. So like I said, we're not gonna cover that. Um, if I wanted to add another account, let's see here. I'm just gonna try to cover all oh, right here. We will come over here and this is where we can have multiple accounts set. okay? You can create another one right here. Husband, your, your daughter, your son, and that's it so it's just basically you can probably watch other videos to go more in depth but this is just how to get you set up and get you started I don't want to make the video too long this is your Tron here you click on here it'll show your available balance it'll show send receive and your and your data history your transactional history will show up right here so and like I said you have other uh, cryptocurrencies it's, you know pretty much just just junk coins that you know except for USD BTT is a good one but you know you get certain tokens that come along with these wallets so that's it video is a little too long but that's how you put tron link extensions on your chrome browser thanks